Today is a massive win for the Macquarie River for fish and for irrigators. Uh, it's a sad fact that we stock two to three million fish in New South Wales every year, but at the same time we suck 50 to 100 million fish out. The Trangita and Nevertai irrigation scheme has now set the benchmark for best practice in water extraction, not only in the Macquarie Valley, not only in New South Wales, but right across the country. And now they really have set the bar because they've got these fish screens in, they're partnering with the community, they're partnering with, with the wreck fishers and government. And here we see uh, this milestone project going in today and uh, the fish staying in the river where they should be. It's a win-win. It's a win for the environment. We're having benefits for fish. We're keeping more fish in the river, saving hundreds of fish a day. That's better fishing, that's healthier rivers. But it's also better for the farmers because the farmers have to deal with debris getting sucked into their intakes. It's also huge for industry and it's huge for, for jobs in regional towns. The screen like we're seeing going in here, it took 67 people contributed into that screen. It's a huge potential for jobs and growth in New South Wales. The magic of these screens is what it does is it has a finer mesh. So this is a two mil wedge wire. It actually has a large surface area. So it keeps the fish and the debris a long way away from the high velocity zone. Anything that does land on the screen will actually be brushed off by these, um, by these bristles. And look, they're, they're automatically operated. They're on a skater system that detects a drop in head loss on the pump. They'll switch on and do one or two rotations, probably maximum once or twice a day as needed. Simple tech, but it's been designed for Australian conditions. It's manufactured in Australia for Australian species and Australian rivers, so good outcome really. Quite often the ones that are trying to get back into the river system once we shut the pumps off, they've been a lot of Murray Cod and sometimes they might have a mark on them where the, the impellers got them on the way through and they still survive. Some have been chopped in half, which is a very sad thing to see. The main benefits are uh, operating costs, not just for the pump station themselves. Like I said, it's a member-owned cooperative. They pay all of the costs for the power and things like that, but also on-farm running costs, having not have to get out of bed at one o'clock in the morning and unblock uh, lateral irrigator sprinklers, and also better returns on crops because they're getting the water that's spread over that crop in a, in a more reliable way. Farmers are looking to be more sustainable. They want to do things to protect our rivers and um, you know, with regard to production um, systems in New South Wales and indeed Australia, people are looking for a cleaner and greener product and screening pumps to keep fish in the river is a huge step towards that. Everyone would want to buy a product that is fish friendly. Well for, for many years, um you know, fish, fish numbers weren't really recognised at all. We, it wasn't an issue in anything that we did. We start our pumps and we wanted our water. Uh, but we started to realise now that, you know, if we're looking after our environment here, and we can do it all the way from, from Burundong all the way to our, to our gate, uh, is everyone benefits. This site, it's great to see native fish will no longer uh, be transferred from the river and deemed lost. And now uh, they will remain in the river to breed naturally it's, uh, it's great for jobs, it's great for growth, it's great for regional economies and uh, from our perspective it's great for fish.